This is a question about Mandel Fleming model. The question is, consider an economy with a floating exchange rate at equilibrium according in the Mandel Fleming model at RF and Y1. Suppose a new financial market innovation increases money demand. The first part of the question is, work through the impact of this in the absence of any government intervention. The analysis can be conducted entirely in the ISLM PP framework, but you are welcome to use any supporting graphs including the goods market and the money market. So we'll start by drawing our y-axis which is the real in straight, our x-axis which is our real output, and this is our downward bias curve, and this is our upward LM curve, and then horizontally we will have our balance of payment curve. And here we reach equilibrium y because the three curves intersect at the same point, which will give us r1, which we can call it as rf as mentioned in the question. And this will give us y1 as well. Then, what will happen? Because of higher money demand, it would result in higher interest rate. Because the money demand will shift to the right, this higher interest rate would result in shifting the LM curve to the left. Therefore, we will shift our LM curve to the left. We will get a new intersection point between LM2, the new LM curve, and IS curve, which would result in Y2 and R2. We can see that R increased and Y decreased. So at a higher interest, what will happen to the investment? Investment will go down because of crowding out effect. Consequently, lower investment would result in lower aggregate demand. Lower aggregate demand would result in lower output. Therefore, at a higher interest, all international investors would like to come and invest in this country because they will receive a higher return. Therefore, the cash inflow will be higher. When we attract more cash inflow, when we attract a higher cash flow, this would result in our currency will appreciate. When the currency will appreciate, we will have here our E, which refers to the direct quote of exchange rate, which means it will be lower, and the real exchange rate will be lower. When the currency appreciate, this would result in lower net exports because exports will be lower and imports will be higher, which would result in lower output. Consequently, IS curve will keep shifting to the left. Therefore, we will shift our IS curve to the left at the point where it will intersect with our LM2 at our original interest rate. Consequently, now we will end up with the same interest rate at R1 and then we will have Y3, which is lower than Y2 and Y1. The second part of the question, what is the impact on R and Y? We see that R here dropped and output dropped to Y3. Therefore, we know that R3 is equal to R1, which is equal to RF, and Y3 is lower than Y2, which is lower than Y1. Third part of the question, provide a narrative of the economic events experienced in this transition from the starting point before the shock to the final equilibrium after the shock. Make sure the narrative is consistent with the graph. Be sure to describe economic events, not a description of your graph. We started with a higher money demand. And this would result in a higher interest rate in order to keep people away from wanting to hold more money than is available. The increase in interest rate will cause investment to decrease, consequently lower aggregate demand which would then lower output. At a higher interest rate, it will attract international fund. Consequently, cash inflow will be higher. International investors want to invest in the domestic bonds. Consequently, they will demand more currency. There will be excess demand for the domestic currency. Therefore, the domestic currency will appreciate. The strength of the domestic currency would cause lower net export and lower output even further. The next part of the question, what would be an appropriate fiscal policy response in order to keep the economy at Y1. So we said our initial shock, it affect IS or LM, it affected LM. Therefore, when we talk about fiscal policy, we refer to what? Higher G or lower taxes, which means it will affect IS curve. So this means that if I will try to shift IS curve to the right, we would never reach our equilibrium point where IS, the new LM, which is LM2, and balance of payment will intersect at a certain point where we have Y1. Consequently, 
fiscal policy will not be feasible in this scenario because we cannot reach Y1 by intersecting the three curves, the new IS curve, LM2, and our balance of payment curve. The last part of the question would be, what would be an appropriate monetary policy response in order to keep the economy at Y1? Is a monetary policy response feasible? Remember, our original shock was LM curve shifted to the left. How when we talk about monetary policy, monetary policy will affect LM curve. Therefore, if we're gonna shift LM curve, it will be easily to reach our original equilibrium. Therefore, if we're gonna use higher money supply, this would result in lower interest. Consequently, LM curve will be higher, which means it will shift to the right. Therefore, we will reach our original equilibrium. So this means that we will offset the original impact. Therefore, we will reach our interest rate is equal to R1, which is equal to RF, and our output will be equal to Y1.